is semen good for you? Does it really have as much protein as an egg white or as much vitamin C as an orange? I'm Dr. Rena Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon, and today we're going to talk about the nutritional value of semen. Now, people have done some seriously crazy things with semen, from making smoothies and doing facials with semen to even making art with it. But is it really this magical serum that we all need to be using? Now, before we dive in, I want to emphasize that this video is not about promoting the use or consumption of semen or suggesting it as some sort of dietary supplement. I'm simply breaking down the science and giving you the knowledge. Now, semen or seminal fluid is a mixture of different substances designed to nourish and support sperm cells during ejaculation for the purposes of fertility. Now, when you think about semen, the average volume of ejaculate is anywhere from 1.5 mLs to 5 mLs, with the average being only 3.4 mLs. Now, it's primarily made up of water. 90 to 95% of it is all water, with the remaining 5 to 10% being made up of a variety of different components. And in 2005, researchers did an extensive review of the literature on the composition of human semen to find out what the average amounts of the semen components were. And here's what they found. First up is protein. Semen does contain a variety of different proteins, which do a variety of things. They function to help liquefy the ejaculate so it moves freely. It helps provide energy for sperm and supports their overall function and the fertility. But is it really as much as an egg white? Now, in this study, they looked at 100 mLs of semen, which is a little over three ounces. And with that, you can get close to about five grams of protein. But remember, the average amount is 3.4 mLs, not 100. And in that, you're getting about 171 milligrams. And remember, milligrams are one one thousandth of a gram. So you're getting less than 0.2 grams of protein in an ejaculate. Next up in semen is carbohydrates. Fructose, glucose, and other simple sugars are in semen, and they're there to provide energy for sperm cells. So in the average ejaculate, the amount of fructose you're gonna get is about 9.2 milligrams. And the total glucose amount is about 3.2 five milligrams per ejaculate. So that's a total of 12.7 milligrams. Now for perspective, a single blueberry has more sugar in it, which is estimated at 50 milligrams of sugar. Remember, we're talking milligrams here. Next up, vitamins and minerals. Now the amounts of vitamins and minerals present in a single ejaculate are very small compared to overall daily nutrition requirements. For example, calcium, which is really important for the sperm being able to move, to metabolize, and have certain reactions that help the sperm fertilize the egg, is only about 0.9 milligrams per ejaculate. Now, for reference, people need somewhere between 1,000 and 1,200 milligrams per day. So one ejaculate is less than 0.1% of your entire daily volume. Next up is citrate. Now, this is important for regulating those calcium levels in semen. And when you look at the total amount, you're getting about 18 milligrams per ejaculate. Potassium, sodium, and chloride, these help maintain sort of what we call an osmotic balance and the pH of semen. Potassium, you're getting about 3.7 milligrams, sodium, 10.2 milligrams, and magnesium at about 0.4 milligrams per ejaculate. These are all really fractional amounts of what you need per day. Now zinc comes up a lot for whatever reason, and zinc does have a relatively high concentration for the amount that we need per day, but it's still not a lot. It's approximately 0.6 milligrams, which is about five to seven and a half percent of the daily requirement of eight to 11 milligrams. And lastly, vitamin C. Now some have inaccurately claimed that one ejaculate contains the equivalent of 200 to 500 milligrams of vitamin C, which is roughly the same amount that you're gonna get in an orange. Now, yes, there is vitamin C in semen, and it's there for the purposes of functioning like an antioxidant. It protects sperm cells from damage that's caused by things called reactive oxygen species, and this you know, ultimately is to optimize their motility, morphology, and their DNA so they can remain healthy. But based on a research study that measured the amount of vitamin C in fertile men, in an average ejaculate, you can expect about 0.26 milligrams, less than one milligram of ascorbic acid or vitamin C. Now, bottom line, 
Semen is safe to ingest and has some very minimal nutritional value, but it doesn't have some amazing properties that you can't get from just eating regular healthy foods. So is it safe to ingest or swallow? Yes. Is it something that you need to make smoothies out of or use in some form or another to optimize your health? Sorry to say, but not exactly. I hope you guys enjoyed this content. And before you guys go, I just wanted to remind you that I am a board certified urologist and I do see patients in my own practice. You're welcome to see me in Southern California, in Irvine or Los Angeles. I also have licenses in seven states around the United States. So I can see you as a patient if you're located in any of those states, or I can see you for a simple educational visit where I can answer your questions that you might have that you can take back to your own doctors in your neighborhoods or wherever you're living to help you navigate some of the more complex issues with sexual health and urologic health. And as always, I'm going to take care of yourself because you're worth it.